Hey, it's your High Priestess Kathy talking to you all from the darkness and I wanted to make this quick video. I'm actually just waking up from a nap and Spirit put this on my heart to send out this message to a lot of you who are looking to get spiritual work done, readings and all of that good stuff. Now, I will tell you one thing. This witch right here knows how to stay in her lane. Okay, this is another topic I wanted to touch on. This witch knows how to stay in her lane. Now, I've been getting a lot of different like voodoo priests and um, voodoo priestesses and all of that stuff coming on my page and my fan page and wanting to friend me and all of that stuff like that. But let me tell you, if I don't accept your friend request, try not to take it personal. It's just that I've had enough with... Uh, uh, really trying to get to know a lot of people that are in the same business that I am in. And that's the spirituality business. Now, now for everyone that knows me, everyone knows that I am not initiated into voodoo. You know, I do hoodoo, but I incorporate some of the voodoo uh, techniques and I work with some uh, voodoo deities I use that in my hoodoo, you know, because you can do that. Most uh, uh, hoodoo people do that. Most people that do Louisiana voodoo, you know, they do that. <clears throat> so, you know, I have the right to do that, okay? So, when I'm getting you tatas and and mongos and um, all of you other different titles of, of people coming to me, you know, let me tell you, I am not out trying to get your clients, you know, um, I'm not really trying to be buddy-buddy friends with anyone, anyone that's doing the spirituality business anymore because I've been burned by people like you. I'm thinking that you're, you know, here to, you know, be a, a, a actual friend or learn something from me and then you, and then I've had them turn around and stab me in the back. So I'm not trying to, uh, you know, really get to know y'all like that. And I can understand why some other, you know, people are like that as well, you know. So, you know, hey, this witch is staying in her lane. You know, you don't have to worry about me, you know, trying to, you know, mess with your clients and stuff and, you know, trying to do work on y'all and all that crap like that. You know, just, you know, leave me alone. Let me do what I do in my little hoodoo and stuff. And y'all stay in y'all lane you know, with y'all, with y'all titles and stuff like that, because, you know, obviously you guys worked really, really hard for all of that, you know, and I'm not trying to take nobody's title, you know, I have my own title, I'm a high priestess, and anybody can get a high priestess and get ordained, they have the right to do that, so it's not like I'm trying to, you know, get off and do something easy, you know, and do work, you know, that y'all, you know, been, you know, practicing on, or, um, you know, maybe, you know, you guys, you know, paid all this money and stuff to get your titles and stuff like that. You know, that's on y'all. You know, y'all do what y'all do. Y'all stay in y'all lane. I'll stay in my little lone lane over here, okay? And another thing I'm going to go ahead and what I was wanting to touch on is like you people that are coming to, you know, a spiritualist and stuff like that for work and readings and stuff like that, you know, you guys need to keep in mind, please stop trying to befriend your spiritual worker. Stop trying to be friends with your spiritualists, your root workers. Stop trying to push up on and have a relationship with the people that's doing work for y'all. What's wrong with y'all? Why do y'all try to do that? I mean, you need to keep in mind, okay, listen. Knowing the type of person that you are, if you're pissing people off in real life, you're going to be pissing people off online, okay? I know this because I'm the same way. So when you're sitting up here and you're trying to be friends with your spiritualist and your root worker and you constantly talking to them, hitting them up all the time, chit-chatting and going on and flirting with them and going on. Now, you know what's going to happen? You keep doing that and you piss them off. You do not want to piss off a Tata. You do not want to piss off... Uh, 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 a book or a, a mongo, uh, a witch, and you do not want to piss off a person that's doing baneful magic or anything like that because you know what's going to happen when you piss them off. 
you know, think about it. Hello, knock, knock, anybody home up there? You know what I'm saying? They're going to put some shit on you. You know what I'm saying? And nine times out of ten, it's because you done pissed them off. You know, they're getting tired of you. So keep in mind when you go into these workers for work, stay in your lane. Stop trying to be friends with your spiritualists and your root workers and stuff like that. You know, because what's going to happen is when, they want, when they're not able to contact you and all that, you're going to get a little attitude, be feeling a certain type of way. And these people are sensitive. You know, they're psychics and stuff. They're sensitive to, you know, how you're feeling and what you're going. You know, they have spirits that they work with that tell them what's going on. So you go ahead. Try to cross that line if you want to. I'm just warning you all what happens and the stories that I hear. Don't fuck with spiritualists like that. Stay in your lane. Are you going to find yourself in a jar or not being able to go out your house or losing all your money? With that being said, it's your high priestess, your, super, your sister witch Kathy, and I just wanted to get that off my chest. If you have any questions... If you like work done or a reading or anything like that, please keep me in mind and hit me up. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.